Hey guys, so we've been receiving a lot of requests to put together a demonstration or setting up video of the Braille Buddy Embosser. So we thought it'd be a good idea to do just that. So before we get started on covering what all comes included with the Braille Buddy, the most important thing that you want to focus on first is going to be the Irie AT USB stick, which includes not only your software, but the Braille printer driver, which needs to be installed first for putting your embosser into your PC. Welcome to Irie AT, Braille and Braille Vision. All right, so after you've plugged your USB stick into your PC, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your file explorer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. And then you're gonna to wanna to locate over on the menu tree, you're gonna to wanna to find the Irie USB, which I've selected right here. Now you'll notice within here, I have a few different options. We've got the different pieces of software that I mentioned, as well as our embosser driver. And that's what we're gonna to wanna to install today. So I'm gonna open that folder up. And then you're going to locate the Irie AT Braille um, .exe file in there. It's an executable file. We're going to go ahead and just select that file and open it. And when we do that, we're going to get the dialog box that says, do you wish to allow this app to make changes to your PC or to your device? We're going to select yes. Then you're going to get the Irie AT Braille printer driver setup dialog box. The first option in here is to select the setup language, and we're gonna go with English United States, then hit next. And then what it's gonna do is take you into the driver setup wizard. And so you can just hit next again to follow the prompts. And of course, it's gonna take you to the uh, end user license agreement, which we of course expect you all to read this in further detail, right? Once you get to the bottom, we're going to check the checkbox. It says, I accept the terms of this agreement, and then hit next. After hitting next, you're going to get to the screen where it prompts you to begin the installation of the driver. We're going to go ahead and select the install option. All right, there we go. Now we're to the Tiger Fonts setup screen. We're going to go ahead and select next to begin the Tiger Fonts setup wizard. Now it's going to ask me if I want to select the Braille fonts. I'm going to go ahead and select that option. And just for now, we're just going to select install all. All right. Now it says that we've completed the Tiger Fonts setup wizard. Now we're going to select the finish button to finish the setup. And then it takes us to the screen, letting us know that our Irie AT Braille printer driver has been successfully installed. There is a checkbox to select to run the network printer installation utility if you do want to network your, your embosser. But for now, we're just gonna connect a good old USB. So what we're gonna do is select finish. And there you go. Now you're gonna get the dialog box that prompts you to restart your PC in order to properly install the driver, which is what you're gonna need to do. We're gonna hit yes and reboot. All right, now that we have the Braille printer driver installed and we've rebooted the PC, we are ready to set this guy up. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before we cover all what comes included with it is you're gonna to wanna to take out the shipping locks that are in this guy. So the way you're gonna do that is there is a plastic lid on top that actually pops off. It's two pieces. And you'll see inside there, or you'll find inside there, that there's two pieces of cardboard and they have some blue um, masking tape or painter's tape that is connected to them. So you kind of uh, are able to find them a bit easier. So I'll go ahead and just take that tape off and pop this guy out. And do the same with the other side. out and set those aside for now go ahead and put the uh, lid back on all right perfect now we can go ahead and store these in the plastic baggie that came with the uh, Braille Buddy but let's first cover what comes included in this baggie okay all right so of course you're gonna have your traditional power cable All right, 
So you've got the one end that plugs into the wall and the other end that's going to plug into the back of the embosser. So I'm going to flip it around. You'll notice we have the plug on the left side of the back if you have the back facing you. Okay. Now, the other cable that it comes with is to connect it to your PC. And that's going to be your USB cable. So of course, you have the one end that plugs into your computer, right? Traditional USB. And you also have the printing, printer USB end as well. And this is going to plug into the back of the Braille Buddy. And this spot is a little bit different. or It's underneath. And if you have the back facing you, it's going to be on the right hand side underneath. And there is a little port underneath to plug that guy in. Okay. All right. What else we got in here? Of course, I mentioned that we have the USB stick too that we use to install the printer driver. This is also going to have your documentation on there as well as the software install files for whatever software um, you have available for you. So the Braille Buddy does come included with the Tiger software suite, uh, Braille translation and tactile graphics software, which you will find also on this USB stick. All right, now in the bag, you should have, well, one, you're gonna find our Irie Braille and Low Vision uh, hard copy catalog in here. So not only featuring the Braille Buddy, but it's gonna have all of our other awesome products in here too, if you'd like to check that out. I also mentioned that the Braille Buddy comes with the Tiger software suite. And so you're also gonna get a sheet that has the activation code as well as your embosser serial number on there. Following that, we have some print setup instructions. And we also have a graphic, a test page, just making sure that everything runs properly. And it's a little map of the US. And then you're also gonna have your uh, Braille setup instructions too, hard copy here as well. All right, so the last thing that we have that came included with it, that's loose, if you will, is the paper tray. So this serves two purposes for the Braille Buddy. So it's, up, it's for both the tractor fed and cut sheet paper. That's one of the neat things about the Braille Buddy, if I didn't mention that already, is that it does both tractor fed and cut sheet paper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this tray. And you'll notice that there's a couple grooves and knobs on the back of it. And this will just lock into place or slide into place and lock in. Okay. And again, this is going to have two different positions. The upright position is going to be for cut sheet paper. The downward position will be for tractor fed paper. And I'll explain that just here in a sec. So again, on the back of the unit, you're going to have your power port, right? You also have your USB port underneath for you. So it's pretty easy to plug in. Also on the back side, we're going to have our tractor clips for the tractor fed paper, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this paper tray off one more time. And you'll notice that they're kind of your traditional tractor fed clips that you'd find on most tractor fed embossers. So what we're going to do is one of them does move, right? For variable sizes. The Braille Buddy does uh, only do eight and a half by 11 with this one, but of course our other embossers are capable of a range of paper sizes. So that's why these things are, are able to move. So you'll notice that the one on the right can only move so far, right? And they want that one to stay fixed. So we're going to line that up, lock it into place. And again, we can adjust the one to the left to, um, for technically for variable paper sizes. All right. Now, if we keep moving the device around, we're going to have a switch. So if you have the embosser facing you, it's on the top of the embosser and it's on the right hand side towards the back of the embosser. And that switch, what it does is it allows the feeding mechanism, the paper feeding mechanism in here to alternate between tractor fed and cut sheet. So if you have it pushed away from you with the embosser, the front of the embosser facing you, that's gonna be for your tractor fed paper. Now, if I flip the switch towards the front of the embosser, that's now gonna switch for cut sheet paper. 
On the right edge of the embosser, we also have a knob. What, what that does is it's a feeding knob, okay? So sometimes you can, if you ever have paper that could get stuck in there or you just need to line the paper up manually, you can go ahead and turn this knob to adjust it back and forth. We also have on that right side, we have our power switch, which of course we'll get there once we get this guy plugged in and turned on for you. On the front of the embosser, with it facing you, you're gonna have, on the left side, you'll feel a little groove, and that's just where it says Irie AT Braille Buddy. It's just our little logo in there. And then to the right of that, you'll notice that there's four buttons, and that's your main control panel. So the leftmost button is tear off. So what that'll do is once it's done embossing, you can push that button and it will line the paper up, the tractor paper, right? On these teeth that we have in here. So the perforation, so it's much easier to tear. That's what that'll do. The next button says reverse or down, and it does just that. It reverses the paper for you, right? It's gonna pull it back out. And you also have eject or load, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna, one, it'll load the paper, pull it in, and line it up to top of form. And in addition to that, you can also hit it and it'll, it'll shoot the paper all the way out for you. The rightmost button is your cancel button. If you need to cancel the job or if anything goes, goes funky with it, you can hit that and it'll stop the print job for you. All right, so I mentioned the paper tray. So we're gonna go ahead and put that guy back on. And there's, again, there's two positions for it. So the upright position is for cut sheet paper. Being loaded up top. The bottom position is for tractor fed, and I'll explain why. Let me grab some tractor paper real quick. So what we're gonna do, we'll go ahead and load the paper. And it's actually easier to take the tray off in this situation. It's easier to access those clips. So I'm gonna start with the clip on the right. Load the paper in there. All right, we got it locked in. Now we'll start with the one on the left. All right, there we go. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull the paper or pull the clip to the left so that the there is slight tension on the paper. And what that does is you don't wanna bow right here in the middle of it, because if the paper will start to bow or flex, it can get jammed up in there. You want it as straight as possible feeding in there. So by pulling on this, it's gonna give it the, a little bit of tension and straighten this out. But the one thing to remember, though, is you don't wanna pull too hard, because if you do that, you can tear off these tractor the tractor holes, and then of course that can cause a little bit more issues for you. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna push the clip down to lock it into place, and there we go, all right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and put the paper tray on. And I mentioned this is, is important too. So one of the things that you need to know is when this paper feeds in, it's gonna come out of this top slot up here, just the same slot that the cut sheet paper comes out. So if you're doing a multi-page job and it's on tractor paper, because the paper is coming through and it's creating a arch in the paper, if you will, what can happen sometimes is if you don't have the paper tray set in, is the paper will come through and feed through back into the embosser. And then obviously you can tell that that would cause some sort of problems. So by pushing, putting the tray down, when the paper comes out of the machine, it's gonna force the paper to go towards the back rather than curl and go underneath, kind of reducing that that problem, if you will. All right, well, now that we are having the paper loaded, I think we're gonna go ahead and plug this guy in and we can get it fired up for you. So again, I'm gonna grab my plugs. I have available, got your one power right here. We got USB under here, and then we have our power again on the right hand side. All right, now that we have everything set up and plugged in, we're going to go ahead and turn this guy on. And you'll notice once I do that, under the printers and scanners section of the settings on your PC, the Braille Buddy 
that is listed in there. It's stated that it was offline, right? Now that we've turned it on, it no longer is offline and is in the idle position, nearly ready to print. Now before we get this thing to print, you'll notice on the front face to the right of the cancel button, we have an online button, which is, or an online uh, light that is green. And then we, above that, we have a flashing paper out light, meaning that the paper isn't completely loaded in this. So you remember previously that I mentioned to push the load button to get paper to top of form. There we go. All right, now it's ready to go. So we're ready to emboss. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Tiger software suite software that I have on my PC, which again is a add-in to Microsoft Word or Excel. So I'm gonna actually open up Word. Okay. All right, now that we're in Word, you'll notice that I have the Tiger tab up here as an add-in. So just so you know, we do have, this is gonna be quick, but we've got plenty of tutorials for you. We have them step-by-step step from setting up your Tiger profile in here all the way to inserting, creating tactile graphics. But for now, we're just gonna do something nice and quick. So we'll go ahead and type out, this is a test document. Okay. Now, I'm gonna select the Tiger tab, hit translate document. Now it's gonna give me the ability to save this file prior to translating, I'll just name it test file for now, as well as give the location. We'll just go ahead and throw it in the uh, documents for now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. All right, now we have, this is a test document. You'll notice that we not only have the braille characters on screen, we also have print characters on screen for just for visual reference, of course. All right, once everything looks good, we're gonna go up to file, print. We're gonna find our braille buddy in our list of printers. Notice it says ready right there. And we've got our eight and a half by 11 paper size selected. We're gonna hit print. There you go. Now we can hit the tear off button to line it up and easily tear it off. All right, and there you go, folks. You have now not only set up your Irie Braille Buddy embosser, you've also translated text and embossed. And don't forget to subscribe to the Irie YouTube channel for more great videos on Braille and low vision products.